Hey, I'm Brett. In this video, we're gonna dive in depth with the ZY Play app and all of its features. Special thanks to Zhiyun for sponsoring this video. Once you've downloaded and connected to the ZY Play app using your iOS or Android device, you're met with the ViaTouch interface. ViaTouch is a system designed to take all of the controls from your camera and your gimbal and put them in one place, your phone. With this, adjustments, settings, and controls become incredibly simple. Up top, we can see our connections, like Wi-Fi. On the left, we have camera controls. These icons are gimbal controls. Up top, we have viewfinder slash monitor controls. Here, we have battery levels for both the gimbal and our phone. And on the right, we have our camera and gimbal settings. First, let's look at the gimbal controls. We can see what mode we're in up here. To change the mode, tap the icon, select the mode you want, and tap anywhere on the screen to exit. Changing modes in the ZY Play app has a few advantages versus doing it on the gimbal itself. For follow mode and go mode, once you select these modes in the app, the Weeble will stay in that mode without having to touch the Weeble at all. Not only can we change the modes in the app, we can control the movement of the gimbal too using the on-screen thumbstick and slider. The thumbstick controls pan and tilt while the slider controls the roll axis. We can control both the direction and the speed of the movement. Cool stuff! We can reset our camera position by pressing this crosshair icon here. We can also change a few of our gimbal settings here too. This gear icon allows us to adjust the motor strength. This picture icon with the little tripod legs on it allows us to change and create scene modes. Scene modes allow you to fine tune your gimbal and its movement to your liking. We can tune each axis and adjust how fast it will move with you, like the follow rate. We can adjust the speed of the joystick controls, adjust the ease into full speed with smoothness, and we can control the dead zone which is the amount and axis we'll need to rotate before the gimbal starts moving. We can also invert the joystick controls. Down here with this motor icon, we can perform a gimbal calibration or motor calibration. This note icon gives us information about the Weeble Lab. Now let's take a look at all the ways to control our camera in the app. First, we have basic controls like starting and stopping a video recording or taking pictures using this shutter button. On the bottom of the screen, we can see our current camera settings such as aperture, shutter speed, ISO, exposure compensation, and white balance. To change any of these settings, we can select the desired icon on the right side, make an adjustment, and we're good to go. From top to bottom, this icon is shutter speed, this one is aperture, then exposure compensation, ISO, and lastly, white balance. Just below white balance, we can see this gear icon. Tapping it brings up on-screen controls for the zoom slash focus motor that's included with every creator and master package bundle for the Weeble Lab. To control the motor, use the control on the right. Here, you can control the speed and direction of the motor. Just below here we have this grid icon. When using image transmission, we can overlay various grids on the screen to help with our shot composition. Speaking of image transmission, you've probably heard by now, but it's a groundbreaking feature for the Weeble Lab. It's a way for you to monitor your footage using your phone, and because it's wireless, setting it up and using it is really convenient. For a more in-depth look at setting up image transmission, including some troubleshooting tips, check out this video I made. Once connected, we can see a live preview of our footage. This icon here clears the user interface so you can focus on your footage. This icon fills the screen with your footage. Now that we're familiar with the interface and we're ready to start filming, let's take a look at a few of the creative tricks the Weeble Lab has. Clicking this camera icon, we have a few ways of easily capturing some really powerful shots. With panorama, we can capture preset or custom panorama pictures. Let's start with the presets. 
Here, we can easily capture a 3x3 grid of images, a 180 degree set of images, and a 360 degree set of images. Using any of these options is dead simple. Just select it, press next, and the Weeble will take care of the rest. Let's go back and create a custom panorama. Creating a custom panorama is really easy. This checkered box in the middle represents the 360 degree space that our gimbal can move. Let's set up a really wide panorama. We'll position the camera here using the Weeble's joystick, then tap the pin icon to record the waypoint. Then we'll position our camera where we want it to end and record this waypoint too. For horizontal waypoints, we can set the number higher to take more photos if we're shooting telephoto lenses, and set the number lower if we're shooting wide angle lenses. If given the option, we may add in additional vertical waypoints too. The stop waypoint interval is the amount of time the gimbal pauses to take a picture. It works in full seconds and we can go up to a one minute pause. This allows us to time the pause for our shutter speed. If we're dragging the shutter, set this to a higher number. We can save this panorama as a preset and play back this exact same camera movement at a later time. More on that in a moment. To finish these panoramas, you'll still need to take these images and put them into a photo editing software, like Affinity Photo, in order to create the final panorama image. Now not only can we easily create these stunning panoramic images, but we can also create some really incredible looking still and moving time lapses too. The time lapse function is dead simple. The interval is for how long to wait before taking each photo. The duration is for how long you want to take all of the photos. On the bottom, we'll see how many photos will be captured and how long a video will generally be. Set the interval with enough time for your shutter speed and for how much time you want to pass in your footage. Things get a bit more interesting with motion time lapses. Here you can program in custom camera movements. If you're a one man video crew, you can use this to program custom camera movements for playback with regular speed video. Let's check it out. We have a slider for each axis. Find where you want to start and tap the plus icon to add a waypoint. Then move to your next position and add another waypoint. You can add up to five waypoints to the movement. We can see where each motor will be positioned by the numbers here. And we can also delete a waypoint. Tap next and we have three settings. For interval, we can scroll up and select video to simply record the camera movement in real time video. For images, select the interval for how much time you want to pass. Next, select the shutter duration. Now this option will max out at two seconds less than the total duration. This difference is to give the Weeble enough time to move positions and settle down before taking its next picture. We can also set the duration of the move just like before. Here we can save this move as a custom preset too, so we can easily use it in the future. After you're set up, just press start and let the Weeble take care of the rest. To play back a preset move, go back to the main page and select preset. Here we can play back the moves by pressing next, but we can also rename or delete the moves as well. After you're done with the time lapse, you'll still need to take these images and put them through separate computer software in order to turn it into a video. Now one last trick for the Weeble Lab is Smart Follow, a way of automatically tracking a subject. For Smart Follow to work, you must first activate image transmission. Once connected, tap the Smart Follow icon here. Once tapped, you can simply drag a box around a shape for the Weeble to track. It's best to select an object with high contrast compared to the rest of your scene. Although the Weeble will do its best, you should still try to keep your subject in your frame and avoid any drastic movements. 
In some cases though, the weeble may retrack a subject even after it's left the frame. That's really neat. This is perfect for getting automatic parallax shots, filming yourself, or simply following a subject as it moves through an environment. And that is your in-depth look at the ZY Play app. If you guys have any questions, you need help, or you just want to say hi, let me know down below. Thumbs up if you liked the vid, and subscribe for more Weeble awesomeness. Until the next one, I'll see ya.